The world's ever-expanding population demands energy, and beneath the oceans lie vast supplies of oil and natural gas that could play a vital role in the world's future energy mix. The days of easy oil are over. We have developed most of the shallow water opportunities. We have to go further afield into deeper waters, harsher environment. With decades of experience in deep water projects, Shell has pushed the boundaries of what is possible to unlock the oil and gas resources the world needs. And one place where Shell continues to make deep water history is Malaysia. Using groundbreaking technology to develop previously inaccessible oil fields, the Malakai Deepwater Tension Leg Platform Project is the first of its kind in Malaysia. Operating at a depth of 500 metres, the platform is capable of producing 60,000 barrels per day. In the deep water operation of oil and gas, it is uh, quite essential to use a production platform such as the Tension Leak Platform, or we call them TLPs. And to connect the TLPs to the seabed, where we will transport the uh, oil or gas, we use risers. And basically, risers are very slender pipes. These pipes are very long in deep water, maybe up to 1,000, 2,000 meters. Freezing temperatures, total darkness, and crushing water pressure makes it difficult to extract energy from deep water. But for Malakai, one of the major technical challenges is vibration. Just imagine, these uh, slender pipes can easily vibrate, and this vibration can be quite immense uh, when there is a strong current flowing around them. From this large motion, the rises may knock each other, or they can be pulled out from the seabed or from the TLP itself. The pipe will vibrate. That vibration will cause damage to the pipe and its field life will be significantly reduced if we don't mitigate. Shell collaborated with the University Technology Malaysia's Marine Technology Laboratory to overcome the issue of vibration. Tests were carried out to develop new technologies to be used in Shell's future deep water rigs around the world. In UTM, we have this uh, hydrodynamic, uh, or we call it the towing tank, which is uh, quite a significant size for a university to have, 120 meter long. Not many universities have this kind of facilities. Scale models of risers are fitted with different fairing designs and are towed down the tow tank at various speeds to simulate different deep water ocean current conditions. And data is then collected and analysed to identify the most efficient design for Malakai's specific ocean environment. Fairings are attached to the risers. These fairings channel the water current smoothly around the risers dramatically reducing the swirling eddies that cause vibration. We are currently working with Xiao in the development of the new riser technology that will be more reliable and safer and cost-effective solution to the deep water project. Dr. Henry Kang is one of the recent beneficiaries of Shell's educational sponsorships in Malaysia and has spent years in America studying for his PhD on a Shell Deepwater internship. The internship in Shell is very meaningful for me because it helped me to build up my professional knowledge, especially in deepwater riser engineering. When we invest in a country, we are not only investing in the short term, we are investing for the long term. Just bringing money without developing the local human resource and human capital is not going to be sustainable. So that's why we invested in sponsoring students for overseas studies. All this is part and parcel of the long term sustainable philosophy that we have. Okay, well done. Shell's collaboration with UTM has not only produced safe and economically sustainable deep water oil extraction, 
but also paves the way for new deep water exploration. Continuing to fuel Malaysian progress for decades to come. <laughs>